Mango Math presents Coin Collecting, a second grade game. Coin Collecting is a second grade game that falls under the math strand of measurement. And it's a game that has students converting measurements between quarters, dimes, nickels, and pennies. The supplies that are provided in the pouch, along with the information sheet and directions, will be two, lamp or two game boards, a dice, and some coins. The object of the game is to collect coins by rolling a dice, and you always start with pennies and work your way up to um, five pennies to get a, a nickel, two nickels to get a dime, uh, two dimes and a nickel to get a quarter, and then you need two quarters before you can get a half dollar, but you always have to start with the smallest denomination and work your way up. So for example, a student would roll the dice, and let's say they got six, so they would collect six pennies. And once they had their six pennies, you could see that five of them would make a nickel, so they'll replace that those five pennies with a nickel. And they will continue on doing that until they have a lot on their board. And so this is an example of two players playing, and you have uh, a student that's collecting, and right now you can see that there is one nickel and two dimes that they can take out and replace with a quarter. And so now they've got two quarters which they can take out and replace with a half dollar. And once the student reaches one half dollar, the game is over and that student wins. You can have them playing to reaching two half dollars um, so that the game becomes a little bit longer. But it's a continuation of collecting money and exchanging it. Sometimes you have to remind the students that look what you have on your board. You have two dimes and a nickel. What does that equal? And they have to change it in because they can forget uh, when there's a conversion of two uh, or more coins together to get another amount. So some guided questions to help promote critical thinking would be which exchanges were easiest to miss and why? And how did you determine the value of your coins after each turn? Which coins did you start with? So some great guided questions. It's a fun game. It helps students understand the value of money. So enjoy.